In this video, we'll see how to write some data into your workbook, save that workbook and close that workbook. So three things we'll see, write some data, save it and close it. Now, how do we do it with the help of macros? Let us see that. Now, first thing is I'll show you, I'm already into the Excel VBA workbook referencing, that's a file. And I'll show you one more file which I've opened. Okay, this is the book one, book one which is given and it is totally empty, there's nothing. And there's only one sheet which is given here. So if I want to write something, save this book one and close this file, how do I do that? So I'll just go back to this place and I'll open this workbook referencing file. Next is I can go to this developer tab and click on this visual basic. Okay. Now when I open this visual basic, you see there are two projects that is project one and second is VBA project two. If you see that is for book one and that is for the other file. Now I've written the code into this VBA project file. I'll just double click on this workbook, save and close. And here I've written some macro. I'll explain you what I've written. The very first thing is that is workbook save and close. That's the name of the sub procedure workbooks name of the workbook dot sheet. Okay. The number of the sheet dot range and the range of the sheet or, or the cells you can say and I have time to write something into that particular sheet. So what I've done is I'm giving the parent object name workbook, the child object name that is sheets in that child. These are the different cells and I'm trying to add some data, some text into that. Okay. After writing, I want workbooks book one dot xls dot save workbooks book one dot xls x dot close that's it so writing some data saving and closing it how it works you can see here i've purposely opened this file okay now for example if i open this book one right now it is not open here book one i'll open this one yeah so book one i've opened now and you can see at the back end book one is open book one is open here and that's a vb editor part now the very first thing what it will do is it will try to write some data into cell number A1 to A10. If you observe carefully here, it is sheet 1, range 1, A1 to A10, that is Excel. Let us see if I execute step by step, step into, step into, and now if you see step into, A1 to A10 Excel, if you see that is the sheet 1, the file name is book 1, cell number A1 to A10, it is written Excel, that is working fine. Second thing is, second, it will go for the save button. If I click on the save, the file will be saved now. And finally, if I want to close it, I'll execute this statement. I just click on this. See this focus here. Okay, this file closed. And now the other file has been opened here. And finally, I'll come out of this sub procedure, right? Now, if I open that file to check whether actually some data has been written and it has been saved, I'll open the folder again. So please see here. I'll just open the folder E drive. In that E drive, I have this book one. If I double click and open, you see in the book one, A1 to A10, data is written in sheet one and the name of the file is book one. So it is working absolutely fine, right? So I'll just close this, yeah. And I hope you have understood how to work on the workbooks, write some data, save and close. That's all for the video.